Hello and welcome to the Purdue University Food Animal Education Network. My name is Paul Ebner and I'm a microbiologist in the Department of Animal Sciences. In this episode, we're going to talk about food animal production and antibiotics. We're going to talk about why antibiotics are used, how they're used, and some of the effects of using antimicrobials in livestock production. Antibiotics are used in livestock production in two basic manners. They're used in high doses for short periods of time to treat specific diseases, but they're also sometimes included in the feed or water at much lower doses. Where the higher doses are used to target and treat specific diseases, using the drugs at lower doses is more of a preventative measure against diseases in general. Including antibiotics in the feed at low doses is also thought to limit subclinical infections that can reduce growth rates. As a result, livestock treated with in-feed antibiotics tend to grow more rapidly. So just like humans, livestock are susceptible to bacterial infections. Just as in human medicine, antibiotics provide the producer or the veterinarian one tool among many that can be used to limit the impact of these infections. So there's a lot of debate surrounding the use of antibiotics in livestock production. Most of the concerns center around whether the antibiotics can be passed to the humans in meat, what happens to the unabsorbed antibiotics that are excreted in the manure and urine, and the potential for the development of antibiotic resistance. We've created several companion videos that explore each of these issues. We invite you to watch those videos, and if you have any questions, you can submit them to us directly through the Ask the Expert button on the site. As always, we hope you find this information useful, and thank you for visiting the site.